Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back to another awesome MIPS tutorial. So don't forget, you should go to smartvania.com because my sister has many awesome tutorials there and a lot of useful information. So last time I was teaching you how to save um, the S registers to the stack because by convention we have to save them to the stack so that we can actually have the old value available uh, in the color because S registers are color saved and T registers are coli saved. Remember that S registers are color saved and T registers are, col uh, are coli saved. So it means that um, the function that you call the coli can do whatever it wants to the T registers, but it, it's not allowed to use the S registers or I mean to modify the values in the S registers. But what I want to show you today is kind of similar, but it's different. <laughs> yes, so I know it's contradictory. So here we have this, this code right here is just printing the value in S0. So okay, that's okay, but down here um, we have the same code. So printing the value in S0 to the screen. So in computer programming, it's not good to have repetition. Um, we always should try to be concise and uh, make the code more readable. So we, we always avoid or we try to avoid repetition. So how can we clean this code? How can we clean it up? Well, we can make another function and the function is going to print the value in S0. So the new function, I'm going to make it down here. And the function is going to, is going to be uh, print, print the value. That's going to be the name of the function or the procedure. So this code right here, it's going to be, it's going to be here. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to paste. So the value right here, it's going to be, it's going to be printed to the screen whenever I call the function. And as usual, I have to return, I have to return to the color. All right, that's fine. So now right here, I don't need this right here anymore. So I can delete it. Instead, I can just call the function, jump and link, print the value. And the value will be printed. So let me show you. Let me show you that I'm not lying to you and the value will be printed as before. So run, assemble, and then execute. Voila. So we have 10. The value is printed as before. But we're still missing a value because we deleted the code from here. So I know what you're thinking. Okay, so we just have to call the function right here. Jump and link, print the value, and it's going to work. But let's see what's going to happen. Save it, run, assemble, execute. Uh oh, down here it says error. And why? Arithmetic overflow. So let me show you something. Whenever you have a function, or when you're calling a, a, a function or a procedure inside another procedure, this is called nesting a procedure or nesting a function. So nested procedure. procedure. I need to learn how to type better. So nested procedure. So what's the problem here? What's happening? Whenever you have a nested procedure, so a procedure inside another procedure or a function inside another function, um, you need to know um, where the address, you, didn't, you need to know where the address is going to be. I mean the address to return to because you don't want to go back to main. You want to go back to the procedure. You want to go back to the color. And the color in this case is not main. The color is increase my register. So how do you solve the problem? 
Well, you only have to save the old address to the stack. So in this case, before I showed you, you can save the, the value in S0 to the stack just to remember the old value from the color. But in this case, you just want to remember, you want to remember the old address. You want to remember the, the address from main. So how do you do it? Well, now we have to store, instead of one value, we have to store two values. So we have to say negative eight, because remember, every every value is four bytes. So negative eight. So let's say right here in location zero, we stored a zero, but now we're going to store the address. So we're going to say store word, dollar sign RA, comma four, dollar sign SP. So now the address right here of will be stored, it will be stored here in SP uh, at location 4 and we also have to restore it dollar sign RA comma dollar sign um, I mean 4 comma dollar sign SP so now this is gonna work why why this is gonna work um, it's gonna work because now you have the all address in the stack and then you are restoring the old address from the stack after you call the function. So um, the function right here, when you say jump and link, this is going to store the, this address. The address of increase my register is going to be stored in in the in the register um, called uh, RA or return address. So this is going to store a new value in return address. But because you're loading the value back, then the, the right value, the right address, which is the, the, the address from main, is gonna be it's gonna be in RA. So when you say jump register here, it's gonna go back to main. So it's not gonna go back to itself. So let's test it now and let's see that it works. Save, run, assemble, execute. Alright. Run, assemble, execute. So here you can see we have 40 and 10. So as before, it's doing the same thing that I showed you in the last tutorial. So you should watch the, la the last tutorial if you don't understand that this code very well. But it's doing the same thing. But the code is better because now I'm not repeating code. I'm just calling the function print the value here. And I'm calling the function print the value inside the function increase my register. Uh, so because it is inside increase my register I have to save the the return address and then I have to restore the return address in that way when I call John register to go back to the color it won't go back to itself it's not gonna go back to itself because I loaded the old value it's gonna go back to main and that's why it's working nice and dandy so thank you for watching I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and see you next time